Hey guys, it's Hugh here and welcome to this video. As you probably know, there have been some changes in a lot of the social networks in terms of who they're allowing to create apps and use apps. And the way that we had Twitworks originally was that you're going to use your own app. And prior to this year, it was quite easy to create your own app and just plug it into Twitworks. But with all the new changes on the social platforms, Twitter has made it harder for you to get your app approved. In fact, if you just started a new Twitter account and you want to create an app, you probably might not be able to, unfortunately, because of all these new rules. So thankfully, I have some apps that we've had open to customers for six years now. So what I've decided to do was allow you to use our app. And let me just show you how you're going to do that. Now, if you wanted to add a new account, so if you want to add a new account, of course, you're going to click this Add Twitter Account App, or you're going to go here and click this link here. Now, the way things work before is that you would go onto Twitter, onto the target account, and create an app on that target account. And then you're going to put the nickname here, and you're going to put the keys and tokens here the way that I've instructed you in the earlier training and you do have to have an, a, a name here so I'm just going to put my dog Shaka and then if it's your app of course you're going to have to put this these tokens in here now if you're already using your app I'm going to suggest that you continue to use your own app okay um, now if you need to start a new account and you don't have an app and you're not able to create an app on Twitter because of their new tightened up security restrictions, once you go ahead and click use our app and you can see that simplifies things a whole lot. Then all you're going to have to do is click this save button and the first thing you're going to do is here see this little cute little kitty here and that's our, our app the VIC Pro app, and we use this app in our other software as well. The thing that you need to do though, is you need to look up here and make sure that you're logged into the account on Twitter that you want to be, that you want to authenticate with. So you might have to sign out and then choose the correct login here to the target account and just click authorize app. And the next thing you know, you're back here and you've got your app set up. Now, if it's showing the correct uh, photo from your profile, then you know that the API is working just fine. And then you can go ahead and set up your follow and unfollow, whatever you want. And it does work uh, just great so far. So I will remind you, this is kind of our in beta, but I believe it's going to work going forward. And as long as we can keep our account kosher with Twitter, we'll be fine. And to that end, I want to ask you to please do not be posting, you know, anything pornographic or anything that's politically divisive or anything like that, because they will review the account. And if they shut down my app, then we're all out of luck. So I need you to please, you know, I, I can't support any of those, you know, kind of weird topics. Okay, so let's just go forward, use my app, and that should solve all the problems for everyone going forward. Okay, so this is Hugh out, and, you know, don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions about this. Okay, Hugh out. Talk to you soon. Bye.